I just had a request. I'm actually, I'm actually doing a vlog. It's not allowed. No. Uh, we literally had one hour and forty minutes delay and counting. This is where all the behind the scenes take place. How many passengers on board? Passengers today is like 74. 74. It's pretty less. That sounds really nice. I, I can wait for her to have it. <laughs> It was an incredible semester. My journey took place the day after my final exams. I'd like to say thank you to my brother and sister-in-law for dropping me off at the airport. Check-in for Biman was so quick I absolutely did not have to wait at all. After a quick security check, I made my way to gate C30 where the Dreamliner was waiting. Toronto Pearson was very busy today. There were so many passengers flying British Airways and if you compare it to Biman, there were so few people waiting to board the flight. Welcome to Toronto Pearson International Airport. Um, very excited for today's flight. Um, it's kind of a shame that me being a Bengali boy, um, haven't flied Biman in like in my lifetime, never before. So this is gonna be for my first time flying Biman. For me, it's a proud moment because Biman is the flagship carrier of uh, my country and for me to be able to finally experience this, um, it's a very special moment for me. So there's another 35 minutes left until the boarding starts and another one hour 35 minutes left until the plane takes off. So I'm looking forward to it. Boarding was delayed by 30 minutes, but anyway, I was so excited to finally aboard the 787. So here is where all the fun started. I definitely wanted to feel welcomed while boarding the aircraft. However, I did have a feeling that the cabin crew would not like the fact that I had a camera in my hand, so trust me, I knew this was coming. Hi, it's 31C. Walaikum well, like Salam, how are you guys? Uh, I just had a request. I'm actually, I'm actually doing a vlog. Yeah. It's not allowed? No, uh, I'm sorry about that. And here's my seat. Seems like no seat neighbors so far. By the way, I actually called one of the flight attendants asking for permission if I can vlog while making sure I don't take any of the cabin crew's faces. And to my surprise, they happily agreed, and I was quite amazed about that. Anyway, a bit about the seats. I'd say there's decent amount of legroom for somebody who's 5 foot 10. And I absolutely love how they represent the Bengali flag with those pillows. Navigating through the in-flight entertainment was very, very smooth. In fact, I found them to be a bit more responsive than the Emirates 777 economy class. That's a bit of a surprise. The screen has standard size for economy class, and with very limited options for English movies, you do get plenty of options for classic Bangla movies. Wait, isn't this supposed to be a new aircraft? In your seat, you will find an emergency instruction manual. It's always a good idea if you go through them before taking off. I also found a paper bag, don't know what that's used for, but that was also kind of dirty. The dining tray works pretty nice, you can open it, slide it towards you, it can keep its shape, you can close it back, and it overall works pretty smooth. By the way, the seat recline is very nice, I had no problems with it throughout the entire flight. Regarding the power outlet, you only get one USB port for your seat in economy class, so keep that in mind. The fixed headrest was very comfortable. I found it very convenient for a 16-hour flight. Not many aircraft suffered that. After a while, the crew handed over some disinfected wipes, a pair of socks, which I couldn't show you, sorry for that, and a pair of headphones. Possibly the worst headphones I've ever used in my life, so be sure to bring your own. Furthermore, it doesn't seem like the aircraft is properly cleaned up after every flight. I mean, I literally found a few coffee stains on the dining tray and it's pretty disgusting because nobody wants to find these things when you board an aircraft. So when you are flying Biman, I'd highly suggest you take one of those wipes and clean up your dining tray, even if you don't really find any stains on it. The aircraft started taxiing on time at 9 p.m. However, get ready to hear some bad news. 
we literally had one hour and 40 minutes delay and counting so I have no idea how long we need to wait there's some thunderstorms happening some distance away from us that's why the plane's not being able to take off um, so we literally waited around 45 minutes at the runway and we got pushed back to gate C30 so it's not only Biman there are a lot of other planes out there who had to go back to their places so a lot of passengers are furious about Biman like why is their service so bad? I mean, you can't blame Biman for that. It's the weather, you can't handle that. Because of this delay, the crews decided to hand out a bottle of water and a glass of drinks to all the passengers on board, just something to keep the angry ones calm and chill. About 20 minutes after takeoff, dinner was served. For the appetizer, we have a salad mix with some potatoes, not quite sure what the name of that is. For the dessert, we have a chocolate cake, possibly a dark fudge cake. We have a bun with butter. And for the main course, I chose chicken. You get plastic tableware for all the meals for this flight, not the steel ones with the cool Biman branding name on it, but I had no problems eating with these. The food was absolutely exceptional. You get basmati rice with generous portions of chicken curry and vegetable. It wasn't spicy. The chicken was tender and the vegetable simply complemented the whole thing. The bun was stiff and it didn't particularly taste good either. I think many people would enjoy this along with the main meal perhaps. Oh, and the desert was delicious. The chocolate cake had a thick, creamy, chocolatey layer on the top with a spongy, juicy interior with chunks of chocolate in between, altogether very tasty. After the warm meal, I was offered some tea or coffee. I got some tea and it was cold. That's not something you look forward to when you're having a hot beverage, right? Time for a bathroom tour. I think it's a pretty standard toilet for an economy cabin. You have your soap dispenser, hot and cold water, some napkins, tissues. I think this is a lotion or some sort of a facial cream. Not quite sure what that is. But anyway, most importantly, the bathroom was clean. That's something you always look forward to when you're visiting the bathroom. And with that, I'm gonna get ready to sleep. Forgot to mention, they actually provided eye shades before taking off and I found them quite useful. You get a thin blanket, no complaints about that, pretty comfortable. Well, good morning guys, it's been around 6-7 to seven hours of sleep. I normally can't sleep during a flight, but I'm quite amazed to have got a decent amount of sleep, bringing sort of breakfast. And um, I'm looking forward to it. Hi, good morning. For breakfast, I got offered two options, omelette and mushroom, and the other option is paratas and murgi mansho, or uh, chicken curry. I took the omelette and mushroom. Breakfast was pretty simple. Here's your plain croissant. For the main course, here's your omelette. And it comes with freshly boiled potatoes, and tiny mushrooms, and one cherry. For the dessert, here's your fruit bowl, contains pineapple, melon, cherry, and watermelon. Overall, the food was decent. It's a type of omelette that you're accustomed to making every single morning, so nothing too crazy about that. The tiny mushrooms were well salted, and the boiled potatoes, they went really well with the omelette and the mushrooms, so I think Biman has done a really nice job by keeping this course simple, and it's also a Western option for you. Good news is Biman offers Wi-Fi on air, so do have a look at their website and see the packages. I think the rates are pretty cheap, but from what I know, they're not too fast, so just keep that in mind.
At this point, my microphone was not connected to the phone, so I apologize for that. But all I wanted to say was, the crews of Biman do care about your satisfaction. When passing by, I was often asked if the food was good, if I needed any more drinks, perhaps some tea or coffee, and all that really made me feel valued in this aircraft. In fact, a flight attendant came over to me and offered me some soup after the meal, and I was quite shocked because I was the only passenger who he approached out of nowhere and specifically asked me if I needed some soup because he did not ask that to other passengers. Later on, I was also invited to the back of the aircraft so that they could show me around, and I happily agreed. I just had to charge up my phone. So meanwhile, I decided to play some Pokemon for an hour or so while my phone charges up. For some reason, I had absolutely no interest browsing through the in-flight entertainment. So just visited the back of the aircraft. This is where all the behind the scenes take place. Um, I have one of my flight attendant with me and unfortunately I'm not going to show their faces because of their privacy but anyway he's gonna give you a tour. First of all here is the, uh, the, this place is called the galley. Okay. Like kind of cover like a average bullet, you can have a bully, you can have other like uh, 200 200 per cover gold the extra thing. Like within 30 minutes of a food you can shop prepare for food. The inter flight to cover it can be prepared. Inter flight to cover it can be prepared. It can be prepared. It can be prepared. It can be prepared. So, this is like only the behind of the aircraft to show right. you the whole of the first. The right. Okay. It can be prepared. 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 premium economy cabin. The only difference between the premium and the economy is that premium has a bit wider seats, bit more legroom, they also have a remote control, but apart from that, the screens, talk about the food, they're all the same. And here's how the business class looks like. Using these controls, you can turn your seat into a flatbed, well, almost a flatbed. A nice reading light is also provided in case you don't want to disturb the other passengers. And the screen for the business class measures 21 inch, which is quite a bit larger than the ones in economy and premium economy. However, the content for the in-flight entertainment is the same for all the classes. You get completely different meals in the business class, you get a set of menu from where you can choose from, and so on. If you want, you can have some privacy from the other passengers, you have access to another remote control, some additional power outlets as well. You also have access to a nice little storage area. Well, anyway, this is not a business class review, so I guess I'll stop right here. The cabin crew was nice enough to offer me a cup of cappuccino. They only provide this to business class, by the way. Man, look at that. I just got called over to the back of the aircraft. Um, these are actually given in business class, but they're so nice that they're giving it to me and I am I'm really happy about this. So I think this is an appetizer for the business class, right? Okay, and what's it called? Uh, 
artist is from oh. shrimp with like coil fucking divider. Oh so, wow, the coil egg. Okay, okay, yes. that's very nice. And some mashed chicken, I guess. Mashed chicken. Oh, that 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 sounds really nice. I I can wait forward to have it. <laughs> what an exceptional flight this is turning out to be. Not the first time the cabin crew has come over to my seat and invited me over to the galley. When you're traveling alone, especially in a long flight, that's what you want to do. You want to talk to somebody, right? You want to get some company. And this food is so refreshing, it's cold, it's fresh, and hands down, the best thing I've had in this entire flight. With around 3 hours left in this flight, I decided to continue my Pokemon adventure. It was then time for the third and final meal of this flight. I had to choose from chicken or veggie. Because I liked the chicken so very much in the first meal, I decided to have it again. Perhaps I should have been a bit more open-minded and tried out their lamb. There's your same usual bun. A pretty interesting looking appetizer. I don't know the name of that, but it seems to me it's made of nuts and some chicken. And that looks to me like a pudding. We again have the same basmati rice with the beautiful chicken curry and along with it we have some uh, kacha pepe bhaji which is like a raw papaya bhaji and that was really good. It was another tasty meal served nice and hot. At first instinct, I thought it was a pudding, but after having a first bite, it tasted like vanilla ice cream with that type of orange jelly type of layer on the top. I think it has a name. If you do know what that is, please let me know. Sure, I'll have some coffee, please. Coffee, please. Okay, black coffee. Okay. I just got a question. Uh, What's this called? What's the name of this? Uh, I'm confused. It's actually, uh, you know, Canadian dish. Oh, okay. You're not, because uh, it's, it's, actually, with it. it's actually pretty good. So I just wanted to know what you made this with. Okay. So I just wanted to tell these people like what this is because it's pretty good. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, wait a moment. Yeah. Sure, sure. After the meal, I decided to have a cup of coffee, and to my no surprise, the coffee was cold. If you're like me, I like to have a hot cup of tea or coffee after a decent meal, and the last thing you want to see is room temperature coffee being served to you, right? Bimon should actually look into this matter. So there's another 1 hour and 35 minutes left until we land in Taka. It's been a marvelous flight so far. Just had our third meal. No sunrise. I thought there was about to be some sunrise because the sky was really purple. So I thought there would be some sun out there, but as it turned out, it has been full dark all throughout the flight. The only Western option I would say was the omelette, which was the breakfast menu. That's pretty much the only Canadian or Western food that you're gonna get in this flight. So just keep that in mind. As for the drinks, you're gonna get orange juice, apple juice, or mango juice, along with tea or coffee bottle of water if you want. Most of the cold drinks were finished halfway into the flight. That's quite hilarious. So just keep in mind there will be no alcohol in this flight. And a crew member just told me that they're actually planning to buy another two Dreamliners in the coming years or so because they want to increase their fleet. So they have Toronto to Taka. They're gonna have another Dreamliner 787-9 that's gonna go from Taka to another country somewhere in North America. Probably not Europe because they don't have too much market there, but they're going to plan to increase their destination to one more country somewhere in North America. And that 
pretty much sums up my entire 16 hour flight. I hope I was able to give you a little taste of how flying Biman would be like if you go from Toronto to Dhaka and I look forward to my return flight 4 weeks from now. I wish you guys all the very best, take care and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you very much, it was a nice flying with you guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank Thanks you. for your service.